we were uh, living in Texas and I was commuting to New York on a weekly basis. It was killing us. I asked my wife, Jean, I said, we can either move to New York, move to Connecticut, commute back and forth. I looked and I said, let's move to Alabama. After 9-11, the business that was we had had, had, had failed, you know, we, and we had to close it. So um, I was here and I began freelance design work. And some friends called me and said, man, what do you think about kind of starting over? You know, you have a store here in um, Alabama, we'll have two in Texas, we'll try to grow it from there. Um, that's what we did. Shindig, um, it actually started with bringing a few people from New York, a few friends from the West Coast, take our local culture here and sort of blend all that together. For two days, uh, it's Camelot. <laughs> so, you know. Yesterday, most of our guests arrived, so we had a little get together at our house for a big cookout. Our friends from Birmingham came up, Jim and Nix, and um, gave us all a feast. Today, we like to get everybody out to the lake and, you know, get on the water. Then some friends of ours have a big party at their lake house. And then this evening we'll have a concert at the Shoal Theater with the Dexatines and Candy Staten, who's sort of lost soul singer of the 70s. Another uh, treat this evening, Justin Towns Earl, is going to come in and uh, just play for a small group of people. We talked about this several months ago, and I said, what do you think about coming down to Alabama and just hanging out with us? He says, oh man, I'll be there. He's, he's just, he's such a good fellow, man. We want sort of the, 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 the afterthoughts of this to be, you know, happy thoughts. It's not really about us, you know, it's really more about all the people here and the community. We just want that positive energy to, um, to kind of spread.